Hello folks, uh, this is a 2021 October November paper 13 and the question number is 27. As uh, the diagram goes, uh, it is related to the question of the chapter superposition of waves. It says, two progressive waves travel in opposite directions and form a stationary wave. The graph shows the variation with distance x of the displacement of the stationary wave, <coughs> the first stationary wave and one of the two progressive waves. So one is the stationary wave. This is the this bold one is the stationary wave and one of the two progressive waves so this is one of the progressive waves at the same instant of time time what are the approximate displacements of the other progressive wave at the positions j k and l so we have to find the displacement of the other we don't have to draw it but we have to find the displacement of the other participating wave here so let us remember that the bold one is the stationary wave it is our standard norm or let us say standard uh, standard uh, way of uh, doing things now uh, at j at j the resultant position is uh, minus 5 is minus 5 so and the position of this wave is uh, is 0 so i must have if x is the position of the another wave x plus x plus this 0 0 is equal to minus 5 0 is equal to minus 5 so that means I must have x equal to minus 5 itself. So that means, that means, that means uh, we have these two choices disqualify in the very beginning and the only choices remaining are choices A and B. Now at B, at B I have got the resultant is about 5. So it's equal to about 5 here. And uh, x also is about 5. Sorry, the resultant of this wave is also about 5. So this is 5 plus x. So, the, the displacement of another wave plus this 5 is equal to, again, with this 5. So, that means x is equal to 0. So, the displacement of another wave is 0 at this time, which is a choice number A. And B disqualifies. To confirm it, let's go to L as well. So, for L, the displacement of the other wave is x. So, x plus, x plus, 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 plus almost 10 almost 10 is equal to is equal to this resultant is 0 so this gives me x equal to minus 10 minus 10 so 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 so, so yes so number a is the absolutely correct one so this uh, thing is slightly mind-boggling in terms of the fact that uh, generally we are asked to uh, we're given the two participating waves and we have to find the resultant but here what they have done is they have given the resultant and one of the participant waves and we have to find the other one find the other one so that's why things are slightly uh, difficult or slightly confusing but it has been solved here